around close uh, to the center of the city, so this might actually just be quicker doing it this way. What way am I going? So T's flying is amazing, it's pretty much full up. Same as Michael's actually, it's just I, need, I do need to practice a bit with Frank. But uh, I did the flight school with Michael in prior episodes and um, it just made his flying OP. Trevor already starts OP so he's sort of the, fly, the pilots of the group. So yes, get in. I've just basically reduced time by starting it with Trevor. So I'd end up flying to this point anyway. Uh, from the uh, FBI lot, so it's a lot quicker. Now this mission you have, I do know that one of the gold requirements is to eavesdrop into people's conversations, so you, you think you're holding R back stick on that. We mark on the HUD indicates the location of the person. So wherever you target, he will head. Hold RT while zoomed in, yes, to perform a police scan. Probably stop. So basically you scan it and um, it will gradually turn red, I think, the box uh, from bottom to top. Then when it's completely red, um, the scan's complete. Oh god, I'll tell you what, we do have to go back here anyway. Because we're going to scan <laughs> Frank now, actually, and you can see all his police record, I remember this bit. So clearly I've started it with Trevor in the past, this mission. Yeah, he gets stumped for something like public exposure, and Trevor takes the piss. So as you can see, he goes a bit red. There we go. <laughs> Probably a bad idea, Trev, as <laughs> he's flying. So there we go, F follows us now. And we have multiple targets now, so we've got to hone in on the right one. Um, I, I don't want it to be the right one first, in fact, I think you go through all these three and it's not him, then you're given another set of targets. So of course we will use the scanner to eavesdrop. Uh, the other ta gold award I imagine is... Uh, Props the mission time. So it's actually quite like guessing the gold of the world. I've never really been fussed on it in previous uh, times he walked through it, of course, but in terms of getting as much done in the series as possible, uh, it's one of the most fun things I've been doing, actually, I think. Just trying to guess. But, uh, this is a fun mission, although it does get tough in the second half uh, in some parts. Chad Mulligan's a film star, I think, or something like that. Certainly some celeb within the range. And uh, yes, we do have to track him to, until he goes to his garage. Then uh, Frank chases him and jacks his car. So holding RB, listens in on distant conversations. There we go. Nelson Strauser, speed in defences. Let's move on. I don't know what I was waiting for then, to be honest. There's a couple boning on here, huh? Are we loading? Sax evasion. Let's see. Okay, Carlos. Oh, no, it's two guys. Just one of them's got to go to Katie loading, sax evasion. It's been playing away, I <laughs> think. So there we go, we'll call that. Um, we've got more targets coming up now. So let's just wait on that. Uh, there we go. Oh, where are we at? Where are we at? Fucking 180 turn here, so where's it go? There we go. Oh wow, we got him straight away. There's Chad Mulligan then. Uh, 
The gold might be the amount of people you scan, so uh, for, no, not at the start of the elsewhere. But, uh, we do have them in our sights at least. And uh, it will mark them now, but we've got to sort of track them. And there's a lot of times where you, he disappears from sight for a second. So you've got to keep eyes on him at all times. Just eventually, as I said, he will um, head towards the garage. He heads down here this way now. So speed and offences, that's going to show in a second, but yeah, he doesn't half drive quickly. And this is the bit where he's hidden, so I think he said, I think he's going to merge in there. But if you need to, just go back on the camera, of course, just so that you can see more of a scope. There we go. It's gonna come out down here, I think. Then, yeah, one of these garages now. Then Frank will appear here. Suspect stopped walking. Appears to be accessing a small garage. Alright, alright, this is it. I'm gonna get the call. So there's F now. He panics, runs straight in. Now we've got the challenge of the mission, really, is to. Uh, track this guy's car. It doesn't really mark it I don't think, so you just gotta make sure you're on it. It can be tough. You gotta give Frank directions. So there we go. Let's keep on him as best we can. As long as we have the crosshairs on him, Trevor will continue to update Frank. But yeah, you've really have gotta keep the crosshair on it as much as possible, just to make sure. Oh, whoa. I almost started tracking the wrong one then. Jesus Christ. It's not really as accelerating. It is a good car, this. I do like using it eventually when you shoot and control of Frank in the car and you do have to take it to the garage. Go on, Frank. So I'm trying to guess where he crashes out. I'm sure he crashes or something. Or eventually it will cut, trigger a cutscene where Frank does make his move. But yeah, there are times where he's almost quicker than you actually cross here, so preempt some things. Now we'll go through here, we'll come out there. Oh, I know this bit, yes. We've got a lower altitude now and work out which one he is. And uh, you can see Frank on the thermal. And you've got to direct them to who you, where you think it is. So it'll take a few goes, I imagine. But uh, we'll locate. He sat in the car, I'm pretty sure I remember that, so we'll target these guys first. Right, let's get our crosshairs and Frank, there he is. Isn't that Frank? Oh yeah, there we go. 
Two men and a civilian of interest. Okay. Where that guy got? There he is. Near side of the garage, on my left, there's a man in a car. This better be him. Make it a bonus if it is the first guy. Hey, that's the motherfucker. Oh, it is. Straight away. Yes, come on. I know you think this car might be worth something. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, no, I remember. Right. You probably get police in you anyway, but last time I did this, I spared him and he rang the police. And even, I'm sure T even says, like, oh, I you shouldn't have spared him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fucking move out the way, dick. Shit, that's in the way everywhere. I could be on a timer here. I forgot. Oh, God, I've crashed. Trashed it a bit. That will be one of the bonuses, I'm pretty sure. So I probably already failed that goal. Yeah, just to avoid damaging it. So, yeah, from the sounds of, I've got to take it to his hangar. We will return to Devon Weston's hangar a few times in future missions. Whoa, fucking hell. Yeah, definitely don't really care much for keeping it intact now, so let's just do this shit. True, I don't think there's a person in the world that could handle Trevor. So as you can see, I mean, uh, I do think this... But all the cars that you jack for Devon Weston do become available for purchase later on. Obviously this one in particular, well all of them will be ridiculously expensive. But uh, this probably is my favourite one. The next missions one's really good as well, because it's like pimped out. Like, you can attack and shit. Man, it? with you up there watching me, dog. I get self-conscious and shit. There you go, you can see T in the distance. Not chopper. Yeah, uh, of course, make sure you go down ground level, and uh, we have been past cleared for entrance to Devon's hangar. It's the uh, the hangar that you can buy on online play, just over here, I think. Either that, or they turn you down, and you just jump over instead, something like that. Let's find out. Hey, I'm supposed to meet Devon Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. Okay, lovely stuff, we are clear. And uh, that's gonna be it. Molly's gonna meet us there, I think, just to uh, say thanks, blah blah blah. Then we still have to do that next one before we finish this lot of missions. Uh, then, no, I haven't said that. We have another one after this. Then I think you wait a bit of a while before the last one becomes available. You know how many of these things they make? Shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man. Right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my service. No, no, no. Don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. So already Devon Weston's trying to sort of see if plant a few seeds of doubt really into uh, Franklin regarding the other guys. The end mission will uh, further expand on that, sort of the end game. Oh, well, there we go, mission passed. Uh, did not get gold. There was this scratching. Oh, God damn it. So we had ICU, okay. I think that was just keeping him entirely in our crosshairs. And Eve Chopper, of course. Uh, already mentioned. So that done, I think the next Devon Western mission will be available next. I did do a solid kid, Matt Majazzo needs help with something he wanted you. I got Trevor on board. Don't mention it, we gotta go to his ranch off Senora Road. 
Um, oh, God, 